All right, sorry about that. I'm back. Had to step away for a bit and skew DQ out of losers. Uh, if anybody has contact with skew, you might want to reach out to him because man's disappeared. I'm looking at the NXM people. But all right, look, uh, Mega holding a pretty decent lead, although it's shrinking by the second. You got to get that big boy hit if he wants to get that kill. That was kind of a big boy hit, but it wasn't like the biggest boy hit. He needs to be a bigger boy than that. I think Mega's trying not to get pushed to the edge, which is probably the smartest thing to do in this matchup. Oh man, not quite. Oh no, Mega's. It's over for Mega. He got hit in the butt with the whip, man. He got shield broken. That's pretty unfortunate, actually. But you know what? He caught him sleeping. Um, Slink caught him sleeping with a small shield, and that was it. If he had a little bit less percent, that would have probably gone. That wouldn't have killed, but that was a shield break, man. Let's pop it open. All 
All right, say this again. Uh, if anybody has contact with Skew, you can let him know that he got DQ'd. Uh, we can reopen it, but he has to show up right now because otherwise he's going to hold up the events. Literally right now he has to show up. So somebody let us know if you're in contact with him. All right, yeah, I'm not seeing any kind of, uh, I'm not seeing anyone say that they're in contact with Skew, so that's going to be a DQ and Albert's moving on to lose your studies. So people asking why he didn't do upgraded F Smash instead of up Smash. Uh, it was not going to be a sweet spot either way, uh, but the mentality probably was Ike is a fast faller, and fast fallers tend to survive longer from upwards hits. So that might be why he chose to go with the F Smash. Ready? So Ace Attorney, I need him to play like within the next minute, basically, or else it's gonna hold up the event. So if he can't be, if he can't be in contact within, by like 9.46, I'm gonna have to give it to Skew. Or to, uh, to Albert, sorry. Who did you add? Oh, there you are. Okay, yeah, he messaged. All right, that's fine. All right, Albert, we're reopening the match. So please play it out off stream. All right, so back to... Um, so getting back to Mega versus Slink. Mega had a really solid start to his first game, but he ended up letting it kind of slip through his fingers. Uh, very unfortunate. But you know what? Slink took advantage of the fact that he caught... Mega sleeping and that ended up winning him the match. So good for him. Oh! Uh, ooh, that was interesting. Good parries from Mega. Mega's having quite a bit of difficulty, like, getting any kind of solid hit. Hmm. Alright, Mega taking the first stock. Very nice. Managing to get off the ledge. Uh, honestly, Mega seems to be having a not the worst time getting off, getting out of disadvantage versus Slank. Could be because he's used to kind of jumping in on people or for any other myriad of reasons. But Mega has not been having the worst time of it. And barely surviving, air dodging off the stage, and my man's is dead. Oh no! Slim taking great advantage of that of that uh, precarious position. Right there. Oh my god! Great parries from Mega. Unfortunately, dash attack is a multi-hit. So if, yeah, if you parry the first, you gotta parry them all. Alright, some good damage, little ladder combo. This is on, that's on, obviously the reason why Mega likes the stage so much. Is that the platform height is very, very nice for him to try to get Nair combos. And that Nair that might be it. Yep. Unfortunately, uh, Slink had to choose between trying to air the ledge or to up B immediately. And he chose incorrectly because his air was not in range to get back on. And good patience from Mega there, realizing that he would have to wait till the holy water was gone to do something. I really like Mega Smash DI so far. Oh, dude, he went for it. He was like, I'm going to hit him. I'm going to hit him. I'm going to hit him. Take this. 
Slink managing to make a bit of a comeback. Very nice. Yeah, Mega's fishing for it, man. He wants that kill. He wants it so bad. Omega managing to smash DI out of the holy water again. Oh no, he's shield, he's dead! Oh! Yeah, so Slink was a little bit too close if he had been a little bit further away and tilted his F smash up. That definitely would have connected. And that up air, not quite enough to seal out the match. Oh my gosh, flame of fire. I like the fact that Slink did not try to punish the Nair onto the ground, but you know what? He's dead. It's He's dead? The man's dead? Alright, and we're at 1-1. One, one. So I'm not really sure what Slink can do to kind of change up his gameplay a bit. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. Hold up. Alright, so we're on Smashville, which is definitely Skew's counter pick. He definitely he likes to play underneath the platform. Oh my god, that's so unfortunate. Why didn't he snap? Also, shout out to the Arrow 404 for resubbing for 16 months. Thank you. Yeah, Slink is kind of in a not a great position right now. I mean, on the stage, he's in a great position because he's under the platform, which is really hard to approach from, especially if you're Ike, who thrives on aerial approaches. But Slink losing that first stock. All right, bye, Mega. <laughs> My man's got scared and killed himself. He wasn't even at risk of dying. This is gone. He just zoomed under that stage. Oh my gosh, all of these nares. Every nair.
Arya Mega with a uh, pretty decent lead that can evaporate at any moment. Despite taking that super early stock, Mega is pretty much even with this Link. Slink does not want to play, like, he does not want to play close up, up close personal Mega right now, man. He's scared. Alright, Mega just, he's just like, I'm just gonna take the hit, bro. It's fine. It's all okay. Oh my gosh. Stop that. Mega is. Insane! Why are you doing these side these side things like this? He's dead. He's dead. He's gone. Slink so with the perfect axe placement. Very nicely done. Okay. All right. Good. I actually like this aggressive uh, gameplay from Mega. He's coming in very carefully, getting around all the projectiles, not letting himself get hit. Good forward air. Good air out of air to forward air. Honestly, just pushing Richter off the stage and claiming stage advantage is such a huge thing in this matchup. It's worth a lot for either of these characters, really. Alright, yeah, good Nair to up smash. Uh, wasn't... He waited a little bit too long to do it. I'm not sure what he was looking for there. Good parry, good parry, yeah. Oh no, the ladder! But it's not enough! Richter's a little bit too... Mm, man. Just a little bit too heavy to get hit to get killed by that. Alright, good forward air from the ledge, something that Mega definitely was not expecting. Oh my god, Sling, I look away for half a second. And Mega just Disappears. It is gone. Uh, <laughs> Richter F Smash is hella strong on that tipper, bro. You don't want to be anywhere near that tip when you get hit. You want to be preferably near the base or the handle of the whip when you get hit. Despite taking like that super early stock, basically uh, almost zero to death thing, uh, Slink, just due to his character, Slink was able to bring it back and ultimately uh, made the comeback and took the game. I think that puts us at 2-1 uh, for Slink. Yep, 2-1 for Slink. And we're going to go into game four. In loser's bracket, we have uh, Z minus taking it over Beast 3 2. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we have Albert versus Skew, and that's 1 1 so far. Winner of that will fight Z minus and losers seconds. So we're back on Mega's comfort pick, PS2. Well, honestly, uh, after watching how Smashville changed the matchup and made it so Slink was able to, not necessarily camp, but just uh, was able to use the platform really well to force Mega to make harder approaches, it's easy to see why uh, Slink, why this uh, would be a better stage for Mega. And Slink's doing a great job of getting damage in. Alright, good, uh, nice down air spike into the cross, getting a little bit of extra damage. <laughs> Not sure what Mega was trying to do there by air dodging through the axe. But you know what? Yo, big flex. Big flex. I like it. Hmm.
We was hoping to get the slightly charged up smash to be able to catch the holy water bottle. Catching holy water can be so good in this matchup. Because if you throw it directly into Richter, it will explode on his skin if he doesn't shield it. So if you're able to grab it out of the air after it bounces off your shield, you should try to go for that. Of course, don't overcommit because any uh, any person who's a character specialist that uses projectiles will always watch out for someone trying to do that kind of thing. So it's very risky to do it. All right, good use of the variable um, directions on holy water based on whether you're in the air or if you're standing. And despite the fact that Mega is at kill percent, uh, he's still able to get in some good wax and almost take the stock two times. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, when you air dodge that early and you don't have a jump, uh, there's not much you can do to those kind of things, but Mega just comes back immediately there and just kills Slink, keeping this an even game. You can see, like, um, Mega is trying to get in. He's jumping in, managing to get a grab. Very nice. Despite the fact that Mega is jumping a lot, which is usually something that people like to try to call out, because his character, his character is like very hard to deal with when he jumps that much. Jeez. And Megas is being forced off the stage. Slink with a very good run through the holy water to get the grab. Oh no, Mega Drop Shield! That's so unfortunate. Ended up costing him a second stock. And that's Yeah, that laddered up that laddered nair is not gonna be enough to get to take Slink's second stock. Mega has his workout out for him a little bit. But well, you know what, if he's getting hits like that, it might not be too much. Alright, Slick is back in a position where he's able to kind of uh, to keep Mega out. He's not on the back foot anymore. So Mega has to be super careful about how he approaches the next minute or so because it could really determine how this set ends. You know he's out of that uh, he's out of that percent window where uh, where Naren's up air is possible, but if four air is going to be enough to finish the to finish the stock, and just like that we're at low percent last stock situation for both characters. This could be a uh, Slink's ticket into grand finals if he plays this smart, but Mega is not going to go down without a fight. Alright, good shield on the Holy Water. It keeps it out of play a little bit longer if it bounces off someone's shield. See, like, Mega keeps trying to stand in the range where uh, Holy Water and Axe cannot hit him. It's a very small range where that's not where that's possible. Oh, good back air. Nice approach from Mega. The flow of this match is definitely just Mega trying to get in on Slink and Mega taking the lead now. Very nice. Oh, he wanted it. He wanted it so bad. But Slink did not give it to him. Very nice. He got good air dodge away from the body. Yeah, Mega wasn't ready for it that time. He, wasn't, he didn't know what trajectory he was going for. All right. Yo, good. A good follow from Mega. Oh, no. He didn't have a jump. I guess when he had a jump, how did he die there? All right, let's look at the replay.
All right, so we see uh, he got the Nair into the follow the air dodge. Oh, he did lose his jump. He didn't. Uh, I thought originally he'd gotten hit out of doing jump off the stage, but actually what happened was that uh, Slink did a ledge release jump up, and then he got hit by, uh, by Ike Nair and then air dodged immediately, either not realizing that he didn't have a jump or just out of like, I'm not sure if that was a clear dodge, what it was. So Meryl Steeler, there should be a Fight Club this week. We do them every Sunday unless we have something else going on, which as far as I know, we don't. So we should be on schedule for this week. But thank you for tuning in to Xeno Wi-Fi, our tournament series. And we hope you'll stick around. But yeah, guys, game five, winner's finals. Mega versus Slink. You guys both had to beat a lot of good players to get here. So congratulations to both of them for making it this far. But whoever wins this has an instant ticket to top three. Sorry, top two. Top two. Alright, and losers, we have Ski versus Albert going to game, <clears throat> game 5. Uh, for those who don't remember, Ski was on stream earlier when he lost to um, Tinnantunist. But he managed to come back and beat Tinnantunist 2-1 in the run back in losers 7s. Which is the round right before losers quarters. It's not often we get double jeopardy here, but hey man. It's uh, before win losers quarters, but man, that happened this time. Interesting. Alright, so what's the counter pick here? Let's see. Alright, so our counter pick is Kalos. Okay. Uh, Slink has actually made really good use of Kalos before. But this is a. This is kind of a, I guess, comfort pick for Mega as well. Mega has gone to Kalos before as a counter pick. I'm interested to see like how this kind of shakes out. Uh, the fact that there's no platform in the center of the stage make this, uh, makes this a lot riskier for Slink as a counter pick. Because Mega's been really good at jumping in on him. And the main thing that's been stopping Mega from doing so has been the platform in the middle of the Has been platforms that uh, Slink's been camping under. But if both of the platforms are on the edge of the stage, that's not really an option anymore. Do good parries, but the extra long parry animation actually set uh set Mega up to get forward air. So like Mega can uh can come in on Oh my goodness, what good pressure! I think that was a shield bug too. Alright, good parry for Mega. Mega's getting a lot of these, actually. A lot of them aren't projectiles, but he's getting a lot of parries on move that hard. And many times when he does, like, it's really important that he does so. Oh, uh, that might be the stock? No, wow. Just, just high, just enough height off of the, uh, jump in the up B. And a slightly poorly DI up, a nair to up air is going to take uh, Slink's first stock. Okay, okay, I respect it. You know, mad respect for the, uh, mad respect for the parries. Nice flex. See, after Mega lost his, like, one of his previous stocks to getting, um, F-Smash, 
for dropping shield and then getting hit by the fire. Uh, he's being very careful not to, uh, to drop shield when he's in that situation, unless his shield's about to break. Oh, dude, he got a little greedy there, and it's gonna cost him some damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay, nice spacing on the Nair. And I do like the uh, the F tilt from Mega there. He's like, I'm gonna do a max range F tilt. If you walk forward, you're gonna die. But if you shield, I'll just hit your shield. And nothing will happen. All right, good forward throw from uh, from Mega. Slink's been, I mean, from Slink, not Mega. Slink's been catching a lot of people sleeping with that forward throw, and a good down smash to finish off the stock. Mega almost getting the kill himself. Not quite enough. Alright, Slink is one stock away from moving on to Grand Finals. Oh man, Mega's getting messed up! You'll press one in the chat and donate 15 bits if you, think Mega, if you want Mega to win. Give him your energy. You guys did not give him nearly enough energy. I can't believe it. You guys, not enough energy, guys. Come on. <laughs> Congratulations to Slank. Moving on to Grand Finals. <laughs> we didn't have enough time to give energy. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I waited a little too long to do that. Alright, so we have uh, Albert versus Skew in Losers. That still hasn't finished, but it'll be done in just a moment. But we'll be seeing Mega and Slink pretty soon, guys. No side bets? Who, who side betted on Mega? They lost. Numbers? Numbers, did you bet on Mega? Bad side bet, bro. Bad side bet. 